Good evening, everybody. Can you hear me? Good evening, yes, teacher. teacher. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, welcome. Okay, we're about to start. Just give me a second as I get things ready right here. Okay, all right, it's here. Okay, yes. All right, as usual, I'm going to call your names just to check the attendance. So when you hear your name, please let me know. First, I'm going to share the screen with you. Okay, there it is. Now for the attendance list. Here we go. Okay. So Alejandro Jose Quintanilla, ya lo vi, que está. Present. Thank you. <laughs> Alicia Guadalupe Hernández Romero. Alicia Guadalupe Hernández Romero. Are you there? Ana Filomena Mendoza. Ana Filomena Mendoza. Ana Yanira Mendoza, Godoy. Ana Yanira Mendoza, Godoy. Andrea Geraldine Sánchez Recinos. Present teacher. Thank you. Sí, Ana Filomena says present. Okay, thank you. Okay, um, Andrea Michelle García Selva. Andrea Michelle García Selva. Okay, uh, do you have problems with the microphone? Maybe a technical problem with the microphone. Blanca Marisol Vargas Esteves. Teacher. Hi. Andrea Michelle, she say present in the chat. Aha, uh -huh, yeah, I, I checked. Uh huh. That, that's why I'm, I'm asking if, if there is a problem with the microphone. Maybe there's a technical problem with the microphone. Okay, but thank you, Katia. Uh, Blanca Marisol Vargas Esteves. Boris Martin Salinas Quintanilla. Here, thank you. Yes. Selena Yvette Gutierrez Osorio. Present. Thank you. Denis Isaías Gomez Rodas. Denis Isaías Gómez. Daisy Carolina Rodríguez Mejía. Present. Thank you. Erika Maidel Antonio Flores. Erika Maidel Antonio Flores. Francisco Alberto Lemus Guzmán. Francisco Alberto Lemus Guzmán. Iris Regina Hernández Cuellar. He's here, teacher. Thank you. Jenny Elizabeth Santillana Cortés. Jenny Elizabeth Santillana Cortés. José Raivín Enríquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Katia Graciela Kwan, ya sé que ahí está. <laughs> Thank you. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening. Maritza Isabel Méndez Aguirre. Maritza Isabel Méndez Aguirre. Miguel Ángel Quintanilla Tejada. Miguel Ángel Quintanilla Tejada. Nadia Isolina Rodríguez Ramírez. Nadia Isolina. Present. Thank you. Noemí Alicia Estrada de Valle. Present teacher. Thank you. Ronald Antonio Luna López. Present teacher. Thank you. Saúl Antonio Hernández Torres. Saúl Antonio Hernández Torres. Okay. Um, let's see the chat. Ana Yanira, okay, thank you. 
Okay. Just calling some names once again. Alicia Guadalupe. Present teacher. Thank you. Blanca Marisol Vargas. No, sorry. Yes, Marca Maris Ma Blanca Marisol Vargas. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Selina Yvette Gutierrez. No, sorry. <laughs> ya me dijo que sí. Denis Isaías Gómez. Denis Isaías Gómez. Erika Maidel Antonio Flores. Erika Maidel. Francisco Alberto Lemus Guzmán. Teacher. Yes. Francisco, Francisco right in the, in the WhatsApp group. And Miguel Angel Quintanilla too. Okay, let's see. Ah, es cierto, Metalorius. Okay. Hello, I'm doing the production here, connect to the class. Okay. Just give me a second, I'm going to reply. All right. So um, back to this. Uh, Jenny Elizabeth Santillana. Jenny Elizabeth, Maritza Isabel Méndez, Saúl Antonio Hernández. No, okay. Present teacher. Okay, there you are. Thank you. Okay, let's continue. Welcome everybody. This is Inglés Preavanzado, Módulo 1, and that's me, Ivan Doñan, at your service. This is session 16, the last one. And today is March. 23rd of 2023 there's a chat entry here let's take a look maritza says present okay maritza thank you all right so what are we going to do well contrast contrasting customs take a look read the information about the different customs and find that find four pairs of countries with contrasting costumes that is habits or traditions that are contrasting, that are opposite, that are very different from each other. Write the countries in the blanks below. For example, you have Brazil and Japan. What about Brazil? If you take a look, in Brazil, friends kiss each other three or four times on the cheeks as a greeting. They go like, mwak, 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 mwak. So they kiss each other three or four times. But what about Japan? People bow, okay? when they see or meet someone they know. They don't touch each other, they don't kiss, they don't shake hands, they don't do anything like that. They just take some distance and they bow. Okay, that's what they do. So they are very different. As you can see, the customs, the traditions um, contrast. They are very different. So what about the rest? I need a volunteer to help me read um, the custom in Denmark. If you can do me that favor, please. Selina Yvette. You said uh, Denmark. All right. Mm -hmm. Denmark. We, people generally arrive on time for most occasions. People generally arrive on time, okay, for most occasions. Okay, good. Thank you. Um, thank you, Selina. What about Egypt? Who can help me? Egypt's custom. Who can help me read? I'm sorry. Egypt's custom. Noemi Alicia. And then Jose Raivin, you go with the next one with friends. So Noemi. Uh Egypt people allow their house to treat them to meals in a restaurant. People allow their hosts, okay, to okay. treat them to meals in restaurants. La gente le permite a su anfitrión que lo invite a comer en un restaurante. So that's it. People allow their hosts to treat them to meals in restaurants. Thank you. Jose Raibin, uh, friends. Teacher, in this case, treat is used as in, like synonym of imitate. Invite. Uh, invite. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's that's the synonym. meaning. But normally oh, okay. when a person tells you, at least in English, um, when a person invites you to do something, that doesn't mean that they're going to pay. They're only inviting you to the activity. So okay, they, they and can, treat they, is that they are going to pay. Exactly. 
Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm, exactly. So when they say uh, you can invite the person to a party, you can invite the person to your graduation, you can invite a person to your wedding, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But when it comes to a restaurant, for example, and you're going to pay the bill or the consumption of both people or more people, then you treat them. That's the verb. Okay. Okay. Oh, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Friends. Uh, okay, yeah, friends. Uh, friends. Service is usually included in in the price of the meal in restaurants. Service is usually included in the price of a meal in restaurants, like El Salvador. In El Salvador, you have to pay 10% 10, 10 extra, right? So because the service is included, that's the tip that you need to leave. So, teacher, um, but if you are not if you are disagree with the with the treatment that the waiter or waitress has given to you, mm -hmm. you cannot meet the paid of the tip. Okay, I didn't know that. Have you ever done yes. this? Yes, you can say no. Uh, I disagree with this pay, and you know the reason. Mm -hmm. And obviously, most of the of the waitress and waiters know what had happened on mm. on their service okay. that's why they they accept what you are saying okay all right okay good to know next time i go to a restaurant i will use this card no nah, i'm kidding <laughs> okay but thank you for the information all right what do we have uh, um Okay, um, Boris. Boris was raising his hand. What about yeah. Japan? Well, Japan, which we, we, we just read it. People bow when they see or meet someone they know. What about New Zealand? That's what I want you to read. Okay, New Zealand people usually pay for their own meals in restaurants. Mm -hmm. People usually pay for their own meals in restaurants. Okay, so they don't like to be treated. Yeah. Thank you, Boris. Sure. Yes. Uh, um well i i was reading in a book that when people say it's my trip mm -hmm. it's because they're going to invite to they're going the to food. pay yeah exactly you can say let me show you it's my treat you can say it's on me you can say that too Thank you. Teacher. Or you can simply say my treat, just like that. Teacher, that's the one I have heard. My treat. In TV series. It, no, it's, it's on me. me. Uh -huh. yeah, For you example, can say in TV series, it's very common to, to hear, to listen that expression, to mm -hmm. listen to that, that expression. Yeah, they, they say it often. They say, no, don't worry, it's on me. Okay, okay, good. Also, um, for example, when uh, this doesn't usually happen in El Salvador, or at least I've never seen it, but they also say it's on the house, <laughs> right? They serve you something and they say, no, no, don't worry. Don't worry. You don't have to pay. It's on the house. Okay. It's like it's La Casa Invita. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. In other words, it's free. <laughs> Something that we all like, okay, when something is free. So uh, th that's something that they do at restaurants. Sometimes they, for example, they give you the wrong order. Okay, so you say, hey, come on, this is not way I order, right? I, I want you to change this. And they go like, oh, yeah, yeah, okay, don't worry. We're going to do it quickly. So they change it and they usually give you something else. Okay, have for the pro for, for your trouble, they say. So it's, it's on the house. Oh, thank you. <laughs> So Teacher, a lot of us love that expressions. It's in the house. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Teacher, uh, mm -hmm. sometimes that happens when the restaurant are too late to serve the, the food. When they're very crowded, right? They have a lot of customers inside. Yeah, that happens. So in some, on some occasions, it's worth the wait. Okay, you, we, you're going to have to wait a long time. But in the end, probably you're going to get some free stuff. And that's a good thing. <laughs> okay, so... Um, for the next one, Spain. Let's see, Katia Graciela and then Ana Yanira. Okay, teacher, Spain. People usually arrive late for most appointments. People usually arrive late for most appointments. Okay, you know. 
por algo nos conquistaron, pues. <laughs> Español. <laughs> okay, so um, thank you, Ana Yanira. The last one, United States. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Um, United States people live a tip of fifteen or twenty percent in restaurants. That's that's uh, a very high tip, but yeah, people leave uh, a tip of fifteen or twenty percent in restaurants. Be sure. In yes. Canada, mm -hmm. in Canada, the waitress uh, take take the tip. Uh, they um, keep the the uh, el vuelto. Ah, they take the change. Uh huh. So they don't give you the change. Like tip, yes. Ah, okay. In, 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 <laughs> in one, uh, uh, one occasion? No. No. Uh, I waiting, I'm waiting for the... the <laughs> for the, the change. Uh-huh. Uh, and... ah, thanks, thanks. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you very much, okay? Come uh -huh. back soon. Come back yes. soon. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah, okay. Well, that doesn't happen in El Salvador. But in Salvador, it's different because they give you the bill. They give you a receipt, and in the receipt, they specify very clearly how much you need to pay. So <laughs> you pay exactly that. So uh, Jenny says present. Okay, thank you, Jenny. I'm going to take your attendance right now. Need to find your name first. Found it. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, so there you go. In the United States, people leave a tip of 15 to 20% in restaurants. So you have Brazil and Japan, okay? They have very different customs or traditions. What about Denmark? What country can you pair Denmark with? Raise your hand. Selina, Yvette, and then Alejandro, and then Maritza. Mantengan la manita levantada, por favor, porque no se me olvida el orden. Okay, Selina. All right, it will be Denmark versus, how do you say versus? Versus. All right. Uh, uh, Spain. Yeah, it's Denmark and Spain. That's right. Yeah, because in Denmark, people generally arrive on time, and in Spain, people usually arrive late. Okay. Thank you very much, Selena. Alejandro, what about the next one with, uh, what's next, Egypt? Egypt is uh, with New Zealand. Egypt and New Zealand, correct. Because in Egypt, people allow their hosts to treat them to meals. And in New Zealand, people usually pay for their own meals. They say, no, 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 I pay. <laughs> My consumption. So thank you very much. And Maritza Isabel, the last one, number four. Um, I think we have a problem, Maritza. You need to you need to check your microphone. <laughs> Can you hear Maritza? I can't. I, I don't know about the rest of you. Can you hear? Yes, teacher. And you? No. I... I'm sorry. Well, I, I, I. Yes. Okay, I can hear you now. I can hear you. Okay, please. Okay. okay. Thank you. <laughs> France? Uh, France versus United States? France and the United States. Yeah, because in France, service is usually included in the price of the meal, and the United States people decide, okay, on the amount. People leave a tip of 15 to 20% in restaurants. So, yeah, there you go. Very good. Well, it's like a mini reading exercise that we have right here. And now we have to go through the conversation, okay? Conversation, what's the custom? Speaking of customs that we need to study today, listen and practice. I need two volunteers right here, two ladies, please. I need two ladies to help me read this, please. Who wants to participate? Me, teacher. Okay, Jenny and uh, um, Nadia told me first. Okay, so yep. here we go. So Jenny and, and Nadia. So Jenny, okay. you can be Marta and Nadia, you can be Karen, please. Okay. Yeah, sir. Guess what? I just got invited to my dear's house for dinner. Mm -hmm. Oh, how, how nice. Yes, but that's but what do you do here? 
when you invited to someone's house? Well, it's a custom to bride a small guest. Really? You like that? Oh, maybe some some flowers or chocolate. Oh, is it is it alright to bring a friend along? Well, if you want to bring some someone, you're expected to call the first and ask and ask if it is okay. Thank you very much, uh, Jenny and Nadia. So Marta says, guess what? I just got invited to my teacher's house for dinner. And then Karen says, oh, how nice. And Marta says, yes, but what do you do when you're invited to someone's house? Karen says, well, it's the custom to bring a small gift, a present. Marta says, really? Like what? Karen says, oh, maybe some flowers or chocolates. Marta says, and is it all right to bring a friend along? Karen says, well, if you want to bring someone, you're expected to call first and ask if it's okay. All right, there's a chat entry right here. Let's see, Francisco says, good evening. Okay, Francisco, thank you. I'm going to take your attendance right now. Francisco Alberto, thank you very much. Okay, um, so what is all this about? Lesson objective. In this class, you will learn how to use clauses with when or if for expectations. So take a look, grammar focus, expectations. When you visit someone, okay, it's the custom to bring a small gift. You aren't supposed to arrive early. If you want to bring someone, you're expected to call first and ask. You're supposed to check with the host it's not acceptable to arrive without calling first. So these are traditions. So how does it work? Take a good look. When you visit someone, okay, this is just like the initial situation. These are the circumstances. When you visit someone, it's the custom. This is what people normally do in a specific city or a specific country or in a specific society or culture, okay? When you visit someone, it's the custom to bring a small gift. Okay, then you have this, you aren't supposed, okay, to arrive early. That means that's not recommended. That's the meaning of that. When they say you aren't supposed to arrive early. Again, it means it's not recommended that you arrive early. Another situation, if you want to bring someone, okay, you are expected to call first and ask. Se espera que usted llame primero y pregunte, okay? You are expected to call first and ask. If you want to bring someone, you're supposed to check with the host, okay? Meaning this is almost necessary. You are supposed to check with the host. And the last one, if you want to bring someone, it's, it's not acceptable to arrive without calling first, okay? It's not acceptable means definitely no. Okay, you, you must not do this. So what are we going to do? I want you to take a look at this. Match information in columns A and B. This is column A and this is column B to make sentences about customs in the United States and Canada. Then compare with a partner. We're gonna to try to do this here together. So you have letter A. If you plan to visit someone at home, okay, I'm going to give you the first one as an example. If you plan to visit someone at home, you have letter A, you're supposed to call first. Yeah, you just don't go to the house and say like, hey, hi. No, normally you call the person first and say like, hey, I'm going to your house. Is that okay? And people will say like, yeah, no problem. Please come. Or they will tell you, no, sorry, I'm about to leave. I have to go and visit my grandmother to give you an idea. So what about number two? If you've been to a friend's home for dinner, what do you have? This is after the dinner. What is the custom in the United States and Canada? If you know the answer, let me know. Selena Yvette. You're supposed to call first. 
you're supposed to call first, but that's letter A. We have already used it. Yeah, ya la usamos esa. Jenny Elizabeth. Uh, the microphone, Jenny. Sorry. Sorry. Letter is acceptable to share the expenses. It's acceptable to share the expenses. Um, probably not because it's not a restaurant. It's it's uh you you oh, went to have dinner at a friend's friend. restaurant, uh, a friend's uh, house. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. yes. Let's see what Maritza Isabel has to say. About I I'm I'm sorry. Uh, um, can you repeat that? Sorry, I, I I don't understand. It's the custom to call and thank him or her. Okay, it's the custom to call and thank him or her. Letter E. That is correct. Okay, thank you, Jenny. Maritza, you go with the next one. Okay, when you have been invited to a wedding. Letter D, you are expected to respond in writing. Yeah, you're expected to respond in writing. So you have to send a written response saying, yes, I'm attending your wedding. Okay. And in El Salvador, you just send a message via WhatsApp and say, yeah, cool, I'll be there. <laughs> but no. Okay. In the United States and Canada, usually you have to write a response and send it, a physical response. So... Thank you very much. What about number four? When you go out on a date. Who knows the answer? Katia. Uh, letter, letter E, you aren't supposed to kiss him or her. When you go out on a date. Letter C. You, letter letter C, C. Teacher. Okay, yeah. you, you aren't supposed to kiss him or her. Um, I'm not sure that's the tradition, <laughs> but thank you for participating. Let's see, Jose, I think, <laughs> and then letter, letter, F. letter F. Let's see, it's acceptable. it's acceptable to share the expenses. Yeah, well, again, that's the answer, but I'm not really that sure because you know, in the United States and Canada, especially if it's a first date, especially on the first date. Usually, ladies expect the guy to pay for everything. So, who knows? Okay. But again, I'm not American. I'm not Canadian. So, I don't know. What do I know? Thank you, Jose. Um, I saw that somebody wanted to participate. I think it was Boris. Boris wanted to participate, right? Okay, Boris, number five. Okay, number five is if the service in a restaurant is good. Uh, you're expected to leave a tip. If a service in a restaurant is good, you're expected to leave a tip. Okay, yeah, that's right. You're expected to leave a tip. Mm -hmm. Good. What about the last one, Noemi Alicia? Thank you, Boris. Noemi Alicia. Uh, when you meet some someone for the first time, uh, Letter C. Letter you C. You are supposed to kiss him or her. Uh huh. You aren't supposed to kiss him or her. Yeah. In the United States, usually, if if they say like, "Hey," uh, they say "Noemi," for example. Imagine this is Jose Raivin. Okay, you just go like, "Ah, oh, nice to meet you," and you shake hands or something. Okay, normally that's what you do. In El Salvador, it's very common to say like, "Ah, oh, nice to meet you," and then a kiss. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> That's a salvo, yeah. okay? But yeah. in the United States, that doesn't usually happen, okay? You have to give a handshake, okay? That's acceptable. So um, that's it. <laughs> and you know what's funny is that that's, that's what we do in El Salvador. It's something that I call the social kiss because in reality, it's not really a kiss. Have you noticed? It's impossible for two people to kiss at the same time on the cheek, you can't do that, but people just go like, they basically just basically touch the other person with the cheek like this, and you kiss the air like, like that, but you don't really kiss the person. It's physically impossible. You will have to take turns like one first and then the other, okay, but nobody does that. <laughs> so 
it's a, uh, it's a, uh, um, what is the word for this? It's a pseudo kiss. Okay, so it's not real. Anyway, so what are we going to do here? Okay, um, you're going to do an activity for me. Okay, and with this activity, we're going to be practicing this. Okay, um, there's something that I want you to do, and for this, you're going to be working together in small groups. So what are you going to do here? Your turn. Working groups, I want you to work together to write five etiquette rules for foreigners when they visit El Salvador. Okay, we know El Salvador. It's our country. So five etiquette rules. I'm going to help you with the first one. Remember to use if or when, and then it's the custom to, you are supposed to, you're expected to, you aren't supposed to, or it's not acceptable to. You don't need to use all of them. Okay, just make sure that whatever you're writing is logical. I'll give you an example. In El Salvador, if people invite you to their home, comma, you're supposed to say, con permiso, when you're going through the door. That's the custom in El Salvador. If somebody tells you, hey, come in, you say, oh, thank you, con permiso, okay? And then you get in, that's the custom. If you don't say con permiso, it's, it's rude, it's impolite. Okay, we Salvadorans don't like it when people just get into the house. It's like, okay, yeah, make yourself at home. So uh, that's one. Okay, so that's the thing. You can say in El Salvador, uh, you're not supposed to eat your pupusas with a fork. To give you an idea, right? Okay, just, just, just telling you some ideas right here. So, ah, ya me quito una, el teacher, la que yo iba a poner, van a decir ahí. Well, anyway, um, you're going, I'm going to form some breaker rooms, okay? And again, I want you to work together. Please work together, okay? And uh, if you discover that the people you're supposed to be working with don't want to talk, well, okay, you can do it individually, <laughs> okay? Just write it on your notebook. But the idea is for you to communicate. So I'm forming the breaker rooms now. Let's see. No, wait, wait, wait. This is not it. Okay, it's here. Breaker rooms. Let's see. Five groups, four people each. Okay, I'm creating them. Room one, Andrea Geraldine, Francisco Alberto, Katia Graciela, and Ronald Antonio. We have a chat entry. And Ayanira says, please share on WhatsApp. Yeah, absolutely. I will right now. Um, then room number two, just give me a second. I'm going to send this via WhatsApp before I forget. Okay, here. All right, done. Okay, room number two, Boris Martin, Iris Regina, Jenny Elizabeth, and Nadia Isolina. Room number three, Alicia Guadalupe, <clears throat> Selena Yvette, Daisy Carolina, and Noemi Alicia. Okay, the two Alices. Number four, room number four, Ana Filomena Mendoza, Ana Yanira Mendoza, <laughs> the two Ana Mendozas. Okay, Jose Raivin and Saul Antonio. And room number five, we have Alejandro Quintanilla, Andrea Michel. Blanca Marisol and Maritza Isabel. I'm going to open the breakout rooms and I want you to do this. Una pista acá, fíjense bien, después de esta frase, it's the custom to, you're supposed to, you're expected to, you aren't supposed to, or it's not acceptable to. ¿Qué sigue después? Sigue un verbo en forma base siempre. Como acá. In El Salvador, if people invite you to their home, you're supposed to say, con permiso, when you go in through the door. Okay. In El Salvador, when you're eating pupusas in public, you are not supposed to use a fork and a knife, or you're supposed to use your hands, et cetera, et cetera, right? So that, that's the idea. So I want you to write five etiquette rules for foreigners when they visit El Salvador. Use your imagination, okay? Not your imagination, use your knowledge, okay? Because that's the idea. So um, let's begin. I'm going to open the breakout rooms now. Please participate, please communicate. Let's do it. Everybody, please join your breaker rooms now.
Hello, um, teacher. Good let's evening. speak English. Let's speak English. I am afraid. I'm sorry, teacher. I am speaking English. Okay, great. Great. Estoy contando dinero ahorita. Lo siento. Ah, come on. Acabo de regresar a trabajar. Sorry. Okay, okay. Okay. In my case, working. You're still working, Ronan. Yes. Wow. Diez algo. Diez algo. Seis a diez. Espero que le paguen horas extra. Ah, qué galán. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. I'm really sí. sorry. Okay. Anyway. So, any ideas? In El Salvador, when the... When the... Where? When... The men. Mm -hmm. mm, invite a day for first time mm -hmm. to woman mm -hmm. <laughs> to I I don't know. Uh, you see expressions. Uh, you, you see expressions. That's the idea. Ah, uh, yes. Mm -hmm. So in a Salvador, when a man goes on a date with a girl for the first time. Uh, she. Mm -hmm. Suppose. She is supposed, huh? The man uh -huh. wants. The man want, want, want. Uh huh. Uh, um, I don't know. <laughs> I, I am forget. You forgot the idea. Ser, okay. Ser su novio. <laughs> I don't remember, teacher. But the, the first time, the first time they go on a date? Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. Yes, teacher. Uh, sometimes, yes. Sometimes, okay. Now, uh, let, let's for, be a, let's be a little bit more general teacher. for experience. Oh, okay. Yes. Uh, okay. Based on your <laughs> based on your experience. All right. Yes. Okay, but let's but let's. It's moment, no, teacher. Okay. No. Okay. Okay. Um. Uh. But when what was about? Uh. 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 uh I, I, usted me pone nerviosa, ¿eh? <laughs> no, why? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, uh, maybe someone can mention something else right here? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Andrea? Uh, I don't know, it's correct because mm -hmm. in El Salvador, in El Salvador, it's the custom, eat torrejas in the summer or Holy Week. <laughs> okay, okay. You can say um, in the Salvador when it's time for the Easter week, because it's not the Holy week, but Easter week, it is the custom to eat torrejas. Okay, it is the custom to eat torrejas. You can say that, absolutely. Okay. I have a Sounds question, good. Teacher. Yes, Francisco. Uh, the thing is all or a specific, a specific term. Uh, I'm sorry, what's the question again? Uh, uh, the term is uh, all. O sea, todo o, o specific. I don't uh, understand completely. Ah. O sea, que si el tema pues, es cualquier cosa o, o es specific. It's, about, no it's, it's about El Salvador in general. Ah, okay. Imagine uh, for that. For example, example in my, in my case, mm -hmm. uh, I have no support to uh, the people driving, no, no respect the uh, road trans, transit. Okay, but uh, let, let's talk about, say, etiquette mm -hmm. rules for foreigners who visit El Salvador. Imagine that a person from France comes to El Salvador ah, okay. and they tell you, oh. okay, I want to know what, what I'm supposed to do and what I'm not supposed to do in this country because I don't want to make a mistake. So you say, <laughs> ah, well, for example, like the example I gave you, right? In El Salvador, yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if people invite you to their home, you're supposed to say con permiso when you go through the door. Oh. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's one. 
what else? Okay, so there there are certain things that we do in the Salvador. I want you to think Teacher, about it. Yes. In El Salvador, mm -hmm. if uh, in El Salvador is uh, it's not acceptable to people eat pizza with with pork. With fork. With a fork. fork. Okay. Yes. Okay. In yes. El Salvador, it's not acceptable to eat pizza with a fork. Okay. Yes. Probably nowhere <laughs> in the world. Probably, I mean, <laughs> okay. Yeah, but you know what? It's really, really unacceptable is to eat pupusas with a fork. Pizza too, teacher. Uh, but, but in the end, <laughs> I, 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 I'll tell you a secret. I sometimes do that, but in my house. Only in my house. Okay, teacher. <laughs> if I go to a pupuseria, no, 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 no. I use my hands, definitely. Okay. Yes. People might take a picture of me and that will become an internet meme. I don't want I don't want that to happen. Okay. My, I have to... my, my father ate pupusa with fork. With a fork. Yes. Absolutely normal. Okay. No problem. <laughs> Okay, yeah. teacher. Okay, I have to go to a different um, breakout room, so I'll see you in a few minutes. Bye, Bye teacher. teacher. <laughs> Please continue, okay? My neighborhood, I, I, I give the, the we kill. What are you talking about? <laughs> You're talking about we kill us. Yeah, yeah. I the girl in the in the in the neighborhood. Okay. In the, okay. In the, I go in. I going to share a uh, one. Harvest. Uh, one real etiquette that happened in El Salvador in the academia, academy of uh, uh, the police academy. Okay. When when they go to the. Are you a cop? Uh, yes. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. When they go to uh, to, I don't know what to say the, the comedor. I don't know. I don't know. It's a cafeteria. How the cafeteria? Syria, um, stay together. Uh, anybody can start to eat until the leader say. Ah, um, okay. Every, 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 everybody uh, has to stand uh, in front of his dish. Mm -hmm. um, when the leaders uh, arrive, he say a, 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 a little uh, preach. Okay. And after that, uh, they can start to eat. Okay, so maybe you can you can say that using the expressions. You can say, for example, uh, at, uh, at the police academy, you are not supposed to start eating until the leader indicates so. Okay. Uh huh. But that's the thing. Okay. Uh, the, oh your, wow. The idea is great. Okay, but let, let's try to use the expressions that we have learned right there. Okay. Okay. Good. Really good. At the police academy, uh, anybody can start to eat until the leader said. You can say, well, uh, but but using the expressions, right? At the police academy, right? You are not supposed to start eating until the leader says so. Okay. Okay. Just, okay. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. Good. All right. It's interesting. Uh, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Okay. That's the hierarchy. Es la jerarquía de. Okay. Is that that's they right. they respect the hierarchy. <laughs> Okay, good. Interesting. Yes, true. Okay, let's see. Um, anything <laughs> else? Any other ideas that you might have? Uh, we're talking about the, uh, the custom to an El Salvador. Mm -hmm. um, share, share, the, share with the neighborhood. Um, ¿Cómo se llama? La cosecha que decían, se me olvidó cómo se decía. Harvest. The harvest. Oh, harvest. <laughs> okay. Yes, we say this. So, how can you express this using the 
using the vocabulary uh, we're practicing right now. Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo dirían eso? Pero utilizando el vocabulario que estamos aprendiendo. In El Salvador, in the etiquette rules, in El Salvador, it's the custom to share. Um, ¿Cómo se llama? Ay, Otra vez. Sure, sure. The, har the harvest. 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 Share, to share harvest with a neighborhood. Okay, with the neighbors. Okay, it's a custom to share the harvest with the, neighbor. with the neighbors. Okay. Okay, that's that sounds great. Okay, write this down. Okay, at the end of the class, I'm going to um, ask for uh, your sentences. So um, I'm going to visit another breakout room right now. I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, bye. Okay. What? You live live in Morazan. Yes, I live in Morazan. Oh, that's far away. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Any any sent hi. Any sentences that you would like to share with me? I was saying that in San Miguel, it's mm -hmm. a custom to say paila when you refer a uh, wakal. Paila. The thing that you used to... Uh-huh. <laughs> so in, in San Miguel... The thing that you used to, to, to do laundry. Are, mm -hmm. are, you, are you from San Miguel? Yeah. Okay, so in San Miguel, people call the wakal paila. Uh-huh. Yeah, and many other things that are different. Okay, I, I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, uh, in San Miguel, yeah, it's pupusas with uh, salsa negra. Salsa negra. Yes. So no, no not tomato sauce. <laughs> no. Wow. Oh yes. Sometimes. Okay. It's that, that's... very very. Uh, um, mm, it's a different tradition okay it's a different tradition if if you like it it's okay <laughs> okay case, i don't like it <laughs> you don't like it so you say in in san miguel okay uh your it's the custom to eat pupusas with salsa negra you say okay so you can say that using the expressions right there any other thing that you can tell us Mm -hmm. Or you need time to think about it. No problem. Okay, I'll give you I a little bit more time. Okay, I'll give you a little bit more time. Uh, please continue uh, discussing this and then I have to go and visit a different breakout room now. Okay, so I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay. Okay. Please continue. was terrible well i can imagine it's <laughs> well some friends used to do used to do kind of uh, things like that and no uh, i don't like it it was unfor um unforgivable unforgivable yes yeah yeah god forgive you god <laughs> forgive you because i cannot <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, but okay. <laughs> uh, we are talking about 
things that people used to do that we don't like. For example, in El Salvador, it's not acceptable to snatch food from other people mm -hmm. when they are eating. Uh, well, and and my uh, well, she was telling me about one experience experience that she mm -hmm. had mm -hmm. when mm -hmm. she was celebrating her birthday, mm -hmm. and he got out to have her lunch mm -hmm. and when she returned she returns uh, no she returned mm -hmm. when she returned uh, re, re, uh -huh, uh, their uh, compañero de trabajo re, uh, help me oh, yeah. the colleagues her co colleagues co uh -huh. also. her colleagues have eaten her cake wow mm -hmm. that's weird That's why I, I'm telling her, uh, God forgive you because I cannot. <laughs> uh, especially if it was chocolate cake. I love they chocolate cake. They, they, they only laughing about that. Oh, come on. But for me, it's not a joke. No, it's not a joke. It's, 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 <laughs> even for worse. them, it was funny, but not for you. I mean, it's... It, it was of chocolate. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> unforgivable unforgivable absolutely unforgivable yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay um and, and, and yes how to say abusivo to say abusivo you can say uh, it's abusive however the word abusive has more in english at least has a more violent connotation i will say um opportunistic yeah that's the word i will use opportunistic okay so. yeah Well, another <laughs> another phrase that we made is it's not acceptable to call other people after 10 p.m. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not acceptable yes. to call people after yes. 10 p.m. because people are usually trying to, you know, sleep. <laughs> to sleep. Well, another okay. is you aren't supposed to eat pizza using forks. Okay. Well, You're not no, because to... of the book. Because you can, but because of the bullying, you are not supposed to do it. <laughs> it's like pupusas, okay? It's like, yeah. I mean, it, it, well, you know, I, I don't think there's anything wrong with eating pupusas with a fork. I think it's it's okay. If you like to eat it like that, you can do it. But in El Salvador, if you try to discuss that with people, people get offended. They go like, <gasps> how can you say <laughs> that? Okay, so... <laughs> Teacher, can you imagine... One Egypt Egypt people, if they if they knew that we eat pupusa with with our hands, I don't know because okay. of because of what we were talking uh, uh, yesterday that well, they I, don't eat with one hand because of their own uh -huh. reasons. Uh -huh. Well, but well, imagine they, they will, if they, they will probably eat. have to use only the right hand. Okay, and you know, pick the pupusa <laughs> like a taco, maybe. Okay. Teacher, um, yes. uh -huh. teacher, once I I treated mm -hmm. a, one Argent, Argentine mm -hmm. lady, Argentine mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. lady, to eat pupusas. Mm -hmm. And I said, you, you need to taste the pupusas with your hands and Uh, if the um, pupusas are greasy, mm -hmm. are better. <laughs> oh my god! Well, yeah, that is true. <laughs> she, she was she was big. She was big. Okay. She, she doesn't. Did she uh, like them? Did she like the pupusas? She she doesn't have problem. Okay. With the with the. Uh, with fat. this rule. Ah, okay, with the fat. fat. Okay, <laughs> from the pupusa. Yeah, yes. because pupusas are pretty yes. fatty. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, For I have me, to go and. We are better, are better when are greasy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're terrible for the health, but they taste great. That's for sure. Okay, um, I have to go and visit, you know, break of room number five. So, please continue and I'll be back. Okay. Okay, teacher. teacher. en asistencia. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Por eso. ¿Cuál es el ejemplo? Teacher, ¿qué terminamos? 
<laughs> teacher. Teacher. Is... Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Sorry, sorry. My microphone it's was... Co it's correct. It's correct. Say, when someone comes to El Salvador, mm -hmm. it's not acceptable to don't go El Tunco Beach. Ah, well, I think yes. that's 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 a bit too extreme when you say it's not acceptable not to go to El Tunco Beach. <laughs> maybe maybe you can say maybe you can rephrase it and say when when you come to El Salvador, you are expected maybe to go to El Tunco Beach, right? That sounds more that sounds more friendly in my opinion. Okay, so you're you're expected to go to El Tunco Beach. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, because <laughs> if you say that it's okay. it's not acceptable not to go to El Tunco, it's like wow, easy, easy. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. Obligation, it's an obligation. No, probably not. It's an obligation. No. <laughs> but you are expected to go, right? I mean, because it's what what people will recommend. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Okay, so. um we don't have much time. We have less than five minutes now. So uh, we need to go back to the main meeting and uh, uh, you will share your sentences with me. So see you in one minute. Okay. Everybody, I'm going to close the breakout rooms now. So please come back to the main meeting. Forty seconds. People in room four, please. I, we need you back in the main meeting. Twenty seconds. Seven seconds. Okay. So um, can you see the screen, everybody? I think you can. So examples, right? Include um, the, the same I gave you before. In El Salvador, if people invite you to their home, you're supposed to say con permiso when you go through the door. Another one. In El Salvador, if someone is having a meal, if someone is eating, you're expected to say buen provecho. Right? It happens in El Salvador. Okay. What else can you say about etiquette in El Salvador? I need volunteers. Que compartan lo que han estado hablando, platicando en los grupos. Boris. Teacher, I shared with my partners uh, the etiquette that they had at the police academy. Okay, the police academy. Uh, at the police academy, uh, you are not supposed to start to eat until the leader say in the cafeteria. Okay, when you're in the cafeteria at the police academy, you're not supposed to start eating until the leader says so. Okay, when they say like, okay, you can eat now, then people eat. <laughs> okay, interesting. Sure. Thank you, Boris. Okay, um, anyone else? Jose. Teacher in El Salvador, if you sneeze, if if someone sneezes, you are supposed to say God bless you. Ah, oh, God bless you. Well, you, you can say uh, salud, Jesús le ayude. Okay, or mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> some people used to say the name of some beers. Oh beers. Yeah. Really? When you sneeze, some of my friends say say names of different beers. Heineken. I don't know why. <laughs> Heineken. Yeah. Regia. <laughs> Regia. Corona. <laughs> okay. Oh, I don't my. know why. No idea. Okay. Well, anyway, this is the first time I hear something like that, but okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Anyone else? Me. Uh, in okay, El Nadia. Salvador, in El Salvador, is the custom to 
eat pupusas all the weekend. Okay, in El Salvador, it's the custom to eat pupusas on the weekends. Okay, yeah, on the weekends or any time you can get them. <laughs> and all days. It's a very yeah, good time day. to eat pupusas. Especially, you know, uh, for, for breakfast or dinner. And sometimes lunch, but not very common. Okay. Okay, thank you, Nadia. Um, anyone else? You want to share what you have? Katia. Okay, teacher. In El Salvador, is the custom to, to drink a tol de lote in the planes de renderos. It's a custom to eat a tol de lote at los planes de renderos. Okay. And also eat pupusas. Yes, there teacher. are a lot of pupuserias right there. Okay. Okay. Nice. <laughs> or, um, okay. Very good. Anyone else? It's about time. Yeah, it's time. So I, I need to hear one more person. Jenny Elizabeth. In El Salvador, is the person to, in Hollywood, is the custom to eat and tamales. Is the custom to eat tamales and torrejas. <laughs> yeah, I love torrejas, especially when they are cold. I don't like hot torrejas. No, if, if you give me a, a hot torreja, I can eat it, but it's like, uh, no, if you give me a torreja, I'll put it in the refrigerator for 24 hours. Then I'll take it out and I'll eat it happily. Okay. I love cold torrejas. They are the best. Okay. Anyway. Um, I don't know. I guess uh, mango, mango is mango in English and hokote is also hokote in English. Okay. So, um, I guess something like caramelized hokotes and caramelized mango, I guess, but I'm not sure. I have never seen that, but yeah, hokote is hokote. Okay. And mango is also mango. So yeah, that's something else that we eat. Okay. The mangoes are good when they're like that. <laughs> Okay, everybody, we're going to stop right here. But first, I'm going to call the attendance one more time. Um, Dennis Isaias, is Dennis here? I don't think so. I haven't seen him. Dennis? Dennis? No? Okay. Um, Erika Maidel? We have a chat entry right here. It's because Hokote is a now what word. Yeah, that's true. Hokote is a now what word. Thank you, Saul. Okay, uh, Erika Maidel, is Erika here? No? Okay, then. And the last one, Miguel Angel. Is Miguel Angel here? Miguel Angel, Quintanilla, Tejada? No? Okay. All right, then. Here. Yes. Miguel Angel, right? Oh, uh, yeah. In the yeah, yeah, that's true. Es cierto, ha escrito, lo único que con cuestión de asistencia, aunque alguien diga en el grupo, o sea, sea quien sea, ¿verdad? No, no puedo estar. Para Insafor no hay excepciones, entonces hay que ponerlo, ¿es tú o no es tú? Pero sí, bueno, sí nos avisó por ahí, ¿verdad? Ok, um, everybody, um, we're going to finish here. Thank you very much, ok, for everything in this past month. Um, I hope you have learned a lot, okay? And maybe in the future, we will see each other. Who knows? Okay, maybe I'll get to be your teacher again, hopefully. So um, have a great evening, and uh, thank you once again. Good night. Thank you, thank teacher. You, teacher. Good night, teacher. No, cl no class tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Good night, bye, everyone. No, 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 bye. Class, no class tomorrow, remember. No class tomorrow. Nice to meet you, teacher. Bye. Take good care. Bye, teacher. Careful. Good night, teacher. Thanks. Bye, bye. 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 Thank, you, teacher. thank you for the information, teacher. You're welcome. Bye, everybody. Bye, bye.